Hi everyone, uh, my name is Craig Stratford, one of our junior representative coaches here at uh, Eltham Wildcats. Uh, excited to bring you part one of a two-part uh, training series, uh, proudly presented by Max Kerwin. Uh, in these two practice sessions, what we're trying to cover is a range of skills, uh, body movement, and really just trying to get uh, kids prepared to be back on the court for basketball. Obviously, it's not too far away now. Um, we're all excited, obviously, uh, and uh, looking forward to having uh, all the kids running around again. A couple of things to watch out for uh, as coaches is just be patient, um, make sure that we uh, you know, gradually step the kids back into uh, basketball, uh, making sure their movement patterns are uh, back on track again, uh, and, and really just being positive. Um, you know, kids aren't going to come out and be perfect straight away, so uh, hopefully over these two sessions uh, that we bring you, you'll get a chance to see a range of skills and uh, things that the kids can practice to get ready. Okay, so in part one, uh, we've brought in a mix of athletes uh, from under 14s through to 16s, and they'll be uh, taking you through uh, some movement with our warm up with skipping. Uh, we're going to work on some finishing, some ball handling, a bit of shooting. Uh, with decision making for this session, we're going to look at on balls and a couple of decisions you can make out of on balls, and then we're going to finish with some fun. Uh, we're going to start off the session uh, introducing one of our uh, kids. He's going to take us through some stuff to start with. Hi, I'm Lucas Manafora from the 14 Ones, and I'm going to be running the warm up for today's session. All right, so what Lucas is going to be taking us through is a skipping routine to uh, warm things up today for our session. Uh, Lucas is going to be skipping for 30 seconds, go through a range of other exercises as well, alternating between skipping and those exercises. So let's get started, Luca. Okay, stop there. Luca's gonna put his rope down. We're gonna move straight into the exercise. Uh, we're looking for high knees uh, for 30 seconds. All right, let's go, Luca. T minus 30 seconds. So skipping's a great way to start off practice. Uh, really good for footwork, um, coordination for the kids. Uh, also get some conditioning in early, um, you know, and really get you started up for the, for the session itself. So uh, Luca's gonna take us through a few different exercises. We're gonna start with high knees here. Um, he'll be switching back to some skipping uh, and then we'll look to get some uh, butt taps Seven, after that. Six, five, four, three, two, Great job, Luca. All right, grab your rope again. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Luca's got great form with his skipping, not jumping too high, trying to work the rope as quick as he can. See his heart rate starting to get up already. Five seconds, Luca. Great job, mate. All right, rope down. Some butt taps. Starting in three, two, one, go. He's looking to just get his heels up the back. Just trying to get the body moving. A uh, bit of an active warm up with a rope. Three seconds. Two, one, good job, Luca. 10 second break, um, picking up the rope again. Doing well, Luca. Four, three, two, one.
So nice and simple. Um, you can have some fun with the kids and work on some different type of skipping, uh, using some crossovers, some double jumps. Uh, but today we're just sort of working on, he's introduced a little bit of one foot hops as well. Four seconds, Looker. Good job. All right, rope down. We're just gonna warm up the upper body with some push-ups. Uh, looking for a nice flat back, uh, butt down. He's gonna go for 30 seconds continuous. Go. T minus 30 seconds. For the younger kids, if you find a full push-up uh, a bit tougher, you can always drop your knees. Um, have your knees on the floor and, and complete the push-up as well. Really nice challenge for the kids and great way to warm up the upper body. Ten, nine, eight, seven, five six, seconds, Looker. Five, four, three, two. Great job, mate. Well done. Well done. Zero. Rope up. Five more seconds, Looker. Three, two, one. Go. T minus 30 seconds. You're good. Here we go. T minus 20 seconds. 15 seconds, Looker. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5, 3, 3 2, 2, one, great job. Rope down, that's the last bit of skipping. Uh, Look who's gonna finish with a plank. He's gonna get down on his elbows, nice flat back. He's gonna hold that for 30 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. Excellent T -minus job, Looker. Ten seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two, zero. one, stop. Fantastic. Come forward, look up. How do you go? Good. Yeah, it's a good way to start the practice. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Yeah. Any message for all the kids at home that have just started off their session? Hope you enjoyed it all and remember to stay safe and clean. Thank you. Alright, so George is here today, she's going to help us uh, get through a ball handling session. George is going to be working on a range of skills, so to start with we're going to start with some right hand pound, which is going to work our way through the cones, uh, up and back. Here we go Georgia. Eyes up. And back. So you can see George has got a good stance, she's down, working the ball hard. Uh, keeping those eyes up as she progresses. Left hand now, Georgia. Um, all the skills we're going to do today are going to involve left and right hand. Um, trying to get uh, Georgia's skill going on both sides of her body, ready to get back to basketball. Now your left hand, Georgia. Right, really trying to sell that fake with her right foot in this example here. All right, as she's progressing down the floor, shift the defender and then keep progressing on the same side. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on Georgia. She's gonna show us how to change direction. Um, what we wanna see from Georgia is if she's down in that stance, 
eyes down the floor so she can see all of her options. Uh, as she approaches each of these cones, they're going to be simulating the vendors. So we want to see Georgia actually slow down as she gets there, execute the move, and then accelerate across the floor. Okay, uh, we're going to start with crossovers, Georgia. All right, here we go. Good job. Same back. You see George gets nice and low as she executes the skill. Uh, let's go between the legs. Right. Want those eyes up, Georgia. Seeing all of her options down the floor. Great job, Georgia. All right, keep going. Good. Really good. All right, behind the back, Georgia. Stay down, don't lift back up, then the second move will be easier. Alright, here we go. There you go. Good job. Well done, well done. Alright, last one George is going to demonstrate for us in the ball handling phase is going to be the, a dribble retreat. Alright, we'll use this when we've got defenders coming at us, we want to separate so George can see more of the floor. And then as the defender then comes, she's going to execute a crossover across the floor. Now, instead of just doing crossovers all the way down, Georgia, I'm going to let you decide. Okay, you can put the ball between your legs, behind your back, cross it over, you make the choice. We just want to see that attack up to that cone, which is our defender. Two dribbles, protecting the ball behind our hip. All right, so you keep your arm bar up, we want to see the eyes so you can see all of the floor. All right, dribble retreat. Here we go. So what we're going to start Toby off on today is we're going to work on eight different finishes. A great way to get through a range of finishes. We're going to be challenging Tobes to use his length 
his nice big steps, getting his eyes on the target, right, and finishing as many buckets as he can. So we'll start over in the corner. Toby's going to work with the right hand reverse. So we're going to give Toby, because of his length, we're going to give him one dribble. All right, he's going to use big steps, get past this ring, and he's looking for that target, the square on the backboard to finish. All right, here we go, Toby. Great job. Grab the ball again. Same thing. You can see the importance of the ball here as well. Go again, folks. We're going to make three here, folks. Three, three buckets. That's one. Use the bow here. We need to keep his eyes up when he's attacking the ring. Um, everyone's got to be able to handle the ball, so we've done some ball here. Now he's looking to finish. So he's finished three right here. We're going to come to the next. First step past that defender, you can really reach out and finish the play. All right, folks, we're going to go to the power layouts. Now, when we're using a power layout, all right, Toby's just use that nice long length to get up nice and high and put the ball high on the glass. This time, he's going to use his base and his strength. So, as he comes in, we're going to give him two dribbles. All right, first one to attack, second one to get his balance. All right, because we use a power layout when we've got a defender on the inside of our body trying to challenge the shot. All right, Toby's going to get his chest presented to the back wall. He's going to finish nice and high off his right shoulder, but we want to see that really strong base so he can ride the contact and finish the play. All right, two drills, Toby's. Yep, good job. There's one. We've got to make three to move on. Good job, Toby's. Yep, really good, really good. All right, so there's his three power layouts. We're now going to use a Euro. So you can see the way we've set up the drill. Toby's attacking from the baseline, finishing with one type of finish. We've got a couple of attacks from the wing. Now we're trying to attack here, off the seam. All right, Toby's going to attack with his left hand. He's going to use his long steps again to present like he's coming across the middle of the ring. He's going to Euro back, finish on his right foot with his right hand with a nice long extended arm. Here we go, folks. Good job, good job. Yep, really good, folks. One more to make, mate. Give me a ready to step. There we go, last time was the best one. We're gonna take it across the other side of the floor. Now he's gonna attack through the middle on his right hand. All right, he's gonna finish on his left outside his cylinder. So what we're looking for with Tobes with his Euro action is to try and get a change of angles. Like he's heading across the middle of the floor to finish on the other side of the ring, but then he's bringing it back on this side. Nice big steps, change that angle and then finish. Really good job, Tobes. Power layout on the left hand side, two dribbles, nice and long with your balance, right in contact and finish on your left. Good job, Tobes. Really good. Alright, two mates down, looking for a free roll. So, one dribble. Long extended arm, let's go. Good, good. There it is. Great job, Tobes. One more, one more. Yep. All right, moving to the corner now. He's going to do a left hand reverse. Tobes, just start a meter in there, mate. Did you go on the last three on this one? Yep, good job. All right, let's go. Three mates, Tobes. Good job. There's one. 
Toby's doing a great job of keeping his eyes up. You can see as he's approaching the ring, he's already trying to lock in on the target. He's using those steps to get past that rim. All right, and he's finding somewhere to put it. All right, really good job, Tobes. All right, now we're gonna to set Tobes a challenge, okay? You can see the drill's quite simple in its nature because the emphasis is on trying to help Toby with his finishing. Uh, what we're gonna to move to now is we're gonna put two minutes on the clock. All right, and we're gonna set Toby a little challenge. So he's gonna start in the corner. All right, he's gotta make two in a row of each of those moves we just went through, all right, to progress to the next one. So he'll do, once he makes two consecutive finger rolls from the corner, he'll move and he'll do two, try and get two consecutive finger rolls from the wing. Once he makes two consecutive reverse layups from the corner, all right, two consecutive finger rolls from the wing, two power layups, two euros, all right, until he makes two in a row of that move, he doesn't progress. We're gonna see how far Toby can get in his two minutes. Rolls. He's looking for two in a row. Let's go. Good start, there's one. That's alright, start again. Looking for two, Toad. Yep, there's one. Good job. Finger rolls from the wing. Looking for two in a row. 30 seconds in, toes, keep working, keep working. Good job, two finger rolls down, looking for two power laps, toes. Great job. Really good, two euros to the top. Back on track, toes. Good. Alright, push off that inside foot, right? Get your ankle across the ring. You're good. Go on again. Gotta make two. There's one. Good job. There it is. Really good job, Toast. Swapping sides. Now we're looking for his left hand at a minute 20, Toast. Power lap in the wing. Yep, keep that balance. Really good, folks. Now long finger rolls, left hand. Ten, Two in a row, folks. Nine, eight, seven, hit one. Six, five, Four seconds, get one more in, one more in. Two, one. Ah! Oh. So you can see for Toad, what we did is we worked on the skill to start with. A uh, great way to challenge the kids is to add some time, all right, and uh, add something like you've got to make two in a row, uh, three in a row, something like that. Really try and challenge to get through. You can see Toad's under the time pressure in two minutes nearly covered all of the uh, skills, Toad, so great job. Thanks. Anything you want to say to the people at home, Toad? Uh, I hope everyone's well. Uh, stay safe. Uh, we can get through this together. Go Wildcats. Hi, I'm Amelia Jurek from the Under 14s team. I hope you enjoy this drill. Alright, so today what we're going to do is we're going to have Amelia working on a two spot shooting drill. Uh, Amelia's trying to work on her preparation for a shot, so today we're going to focus on trying to get inside foot catches, uh, making sure she's squared up to the ring, and a nice strong follow through. So let's go. Amelia.
hope everyone's staying happy and healthy. So today we've got Christian, he's going to be working through some decision making off on balls. Uh, we're going to give him three different ways to attack the on ball screen. Uh, great little breakdown of the drill. Uh, if you haven't got a lot of room at home, you can have that chair position anywhere you've got room. Okay, what we're trying to do is work on the catch specifically and then how to set his defender up. So the first one, uh, Christian, what we're going to do is we're going to toss it up, catch on that high foot, nice and low, and just attack that defender that's chasing him uphill. Christian's going to go to finish. So Kristen can do three mates, all right? Good job. All right, ne next one we're gonna give Christian is that uh, the situation becomes that he's actually had a defender overplaying uphill, all right? and he's ripped and gone baseline. Now the defender sits down a little bit, he sets him up on the screen, uses that left foot to get right across the top of that screen, pin the defender behind it, and he's looking to attack through the middle of the floor. Good job, good job. Next one, what we're gonna give him, uh, we've, we've now had the first setup, which is overplaying defender, and he's ripping and going baseline. Then we've played the defender that he's set him up and used the screen. Now what we wanna work on is a little hesitation where the defender gets up and in, and he's gonna hesitate like he's coming over the screen. He's gonna take it back down the same side of the floor and look to finish something. So you can see with an uh, athlete like Christian that's been do it, working on these skills quite a bit, we take away the emphasis for him on what type of finish. Uh, we let him be creative. It, it keeps his decision making um, skills going as well. In a, in a real situation, he'll be assessing the defender and making choices. Today we're just providing three options for him to choose, depending what that defender's doing. All right, let's see uh, you choose, all right, alternate. Any of those three, any of those three. Go. Any of those three. First one's a rip baseline. A little hesitation coming over. Good finish on his left. That's the best way for him to attack and be aggressive on the ring is that as soon as he catches that ball, you can see he's straight away positioning his body that he can go both ways, his hips are low and he's got that ball ready to go. Okay? As he actually looks to attack over the top of the screen, when we see it this time, what we're going to see is we're going to see Christian dip his shoulder nice and low with his hip, all right? really pin that defender so that as that defender tries to chase over, to get to him, he's actually pinned him behind and he's accelerating down the middle of the floor. All right, so same three moves. We're gonna go from this side of the floor this time. All right, first one, all right, decision is, defender's chasing him hard as he goes to get a catch. Gets a catch above the screen. As soon as that defender tries to engage, he just rips and goes straight past him. Not sure that'd happen in the real game. Yeah. Up the floor, nice and low, athletic. Yep. Oh, good job. 
Alright, uh, next one. Alright? Remember, we've now had that defender overplaying. As Christian comes to get that catch, defender's now going to settle in. Alright? Still gives him a jab just to position him like he's taking that away. Now he gives the screen a great angle to set the screen. He's staying low with his shoulder and his hips. Alright, he's getting past that screening action down to the middle of the floor. Alright, here we go. High foot catch. Yep. Good. on his high hip, alright, with a bounce off his left hip. As I try and fight my way through, he's going to turn and correct that foot and go. Get as much work can you try and get as much work in as you can before rep come back and uh, good luck. Hi, I'm Emily and I play for the under 18 funds. Good luck for this challenge. Alright, so just before Emily starts, the challenge we've set up for Emily is called the ladder drill. Uh, what it is, is we're going to put three minutes on the clock. Emily is going to start off at the closest cone on one side of the floor. Every time that Emily makes a shot, she's going to step back one of the cones. If she misses a shot, she's going to step forward. Now, for those that don't have 18 cones to lay out on their floor at home uh, or in a driveway, you can grab uh, plastic cups, drink bottles, an object, all right, nothing glass. Right, nothing glass, but definitely, you know, some object there that you can just put a marker down. If Emily completes all six on, in one of those lines, she's going to move to the next line, and even after a miss in that line, Emily doesn't go back to the original line anymore. Okay, so let's have a go and see how we go.
So Emily, uh, after the mist, did you feel the pressure? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of pressure. Lots of pressure. So it's really this drill is targeting, trying to get Emily focused, so that every time that ball comes back to her, she locks in and shoots the ball. Did a great job. So the score today finished on cone four on this side, so it'll be six plus four. Emily will get ten out of her three minutes. Um, really good challenge for to go up and down throughout the drill. So well done, Emily. Let's finish off with some free throws. So free throws today. Emily's going to be shooting 10. Alright, as always, we want to keep track of the mates. Alright, out of that 10, so Emily's just going to shoot 10 free throws. Alright, let's see how we go. Streak finished on four. Emily did a great job of getting 10 out of 10 on her free throws today. Did really well on the challenge. Emily, Emily anything you want to say to you? Hi guys. I know this has been really frustrating being stuck at home at the moment, but just remember to keep practicing because we're going to be on the court soon. Hope you enjoyed uh, part one of our uh, two part series. Uh, as you saw with our mix of athletes and the range of skills that we covered. Um, if you've got any questions with any of those skills, make sure you uh, put it in the comments below. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next week for part two.